hey guys in this uh, series we will be talking about binary exponentiation and how it is useful in competitive programming so let me motivate you why do we need uh, this binary exponentiation so let us look at the problem first what is the problem so suppose we have to calculate something like x raised to power n uh, let's suppose 2 raised to power 5 so we know that is 32 but the naive way of uh, calculating this is to use something like x to the power n we know it can be written as x then we can multiply it by x to the power n minus 1 but this way is going to take order of n time because the recurrence relation for this will be tn will be broken into tn minus 1 plus some constant amount of time c okay so when we will solve this recurrence relation we will get a uh, time complexity of big o of n which is not desirable and we want to reduce this time complexity so let us look how binary exponentiation can help us in reducing this time complexity to a better time complexity so let's start with an example so it will be more clear to you so let us say we have to calculate 2 to the power 5 so let us look at this expression how we can break it up to save time uh, so here the power is odd let us take a simpler example where the power is even so 2 to the power 4 what we can write it as is 2 to the power 2 and then into 2 to the power 2 so we are breaking this power dividing it by 2 so 4 can be divided by 2 and 2 so this was the idea that is given in binary exponentiation and whenever the number is odd let us look at it so if we will divide it by 2 what we are going to get we are going to get 5 divided by 2 and let's take the floor of this thing so we'll get 2 and 2 but these power will give us a 2 to the power 4 so what we can do is we can multiply it with this number 2 so if we'll multiply this number by 2 we'll get 2 raised to power 5 so this is the whole idea let me write this in a more uh, mathematical or clear way so suppose we have a number a and the power is n we can express it into three cases so three cases can be one is the base case so the base case is when we know that a to the power 0 is always 1 so anything to the power 0 is always 1 so this is our base case so when uh, we'll return 1 when n becomes equal to 0 okay so this is the base case now uh, uh, let us write the even and the odd case so for even case when n is even so what it is gonna be is a to the power n by 2 and then square of this and then for odd case n is odd then we will have a to the power n minus 1 divided by 2 whole square uh, let me write show this how it will work so for power like 8 we will have 8 divided by 2 and this to the power 2 so we'll calculate for 4 then we'll calculate for 2 and then we'll calculate for 1 and then 0 and it will return back the corresponding values so what this does is it reduces the time complexity to o of log n so log n this lg here means log to the base 2 so we are reducing the time complexity to log n i'll show you how it is log n so let's first see the code for this in c plus plus okay so we have two code here so one of them is uh, recursive and the other one is iterative let us look at the recursive code first so here inside the function we have passed x and n let me bring up this thing really quick okay so this is our base case this is the base case when n is equal to 0 so we are returning a 1 and now we are calculating this n by 2 which i have shown you like for 4 we will calculating for 2 and then for 2 okay so we are passing n by 2 here keep note of this we are passing this and we are storing it into a variable called a result res and here if n and 1 so this thing here means that if it is odd if you don't know this about this and you can check my uh, bitwise operator playlist i'll give you the link in the description below you can check it out it is also really helpful so if it is odd then what we can do is 
uh, as I told you like it was 5 so we can go for 2 and then 2 and then we will multiply that number again so one more power will be added so like for 2 to the power 5 I'll say 2 to the power 2 and then 2 to the power 2 and then into 2 so it will become 2 to the power 5 in total so that is what we are doing here so result the result and then x we are returning this or oh, and if the n is not even uh, odd what we are gonna do is we are gonna give uh, return this thing so which is result into result okay so i have written this a bit wrong by mistake let me correct it okay so we can return the result sorry for this thing yeah now it should work fine so let us run our code and see if it is working fine or not okay so we're gonna be running this into okay so let us enter 2 to the power 5 so 2 to the power 5 here is 32 this thing okay so i think the idea is pretty clear to you about this recursion let me show you how this recursion is really working so what is happening here is we are calling for 2 to the power 5 so right here what is happening we are making another call to 2 and 2 then 2 to the power 2 and what we are doing here is 2 to the power 1 and then 2 to the power okay so 2 to the power 1 only one call is getting made sorry so 2 to the power 5 i'm making just one call 2 to the power 2 and after this i'm making one more call 2 to the power 1 and then this 1 divided by 2 will be 0 so 2 to the power 0 so now from here it will return 1 because base case is this thing when it is 0 we will return 1 so it will return 1 here to this now what we are doing here is checking if this is odd so this is odd so we are going to be running this one line 10 so x what is x x is 2 what is the result written from uh, this function call 1 and into 1 so we'll return 2 here so we are returning 2 here and now similarly we'll check this this is even this time so what we are going to do is a result into result so what we are doing is result is 2 into 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 we are going to be returning this thing here now it a uh, 5 5 is or so what we are going to do is result into result into x so what is this 4 into 4 into what is x 2 so 4 into 4 16 and 16 into 2 is 32 so that is how our recursion is working now let us look at the iterative version of this code as we know that recursion is a bit of overhead so we do prefer iterative version most of the time so let us look at this code let me bring this up okay so this code seems pretty short and easy let us go through it we are taking in the input we are declaring a variable called result and making its value 1 so now we are checking for a while loop till n is greater than 0 so n initially is uh, let us run this with an example of similar example 2 to the power 5 so what is x here x is 2 what is n here n is 5 5 is greater than 0 yes of course so what we are gonna do is uh, we're gonna check if n is n and 1 so this is checking for odd is it odd 5 is odd yes 5 is odd so what we are gonna do is a result star equal to which is equal to result is equal to result into whatever we write here so we have written x here so result into x so what is gonna happen what is result 1 what is x x is 2 so we'll store 2 inside the result now let us see at the next iteration what will happen so the result is 2 x is also 2 and n is also 5 so here what we are gonna do is x is equal to x is equal to x into x we are squaring it up so 2 into 2 that is 4 and n we are gonna be doing right shift with 1 so what is n 5 what is 5 1 0 1 we are going to do a right shift by 1 so it will be 0 1 and 0 it will become 2 
this is 5 and if you don't know this right shift operator and other bitwise operator you can check my videos i link it and this is 2 now so we have updated the value of this to 2 and x to 4 and the result is 2 okay so let us look to the next iteration so now and n is greater than 0 yes n is greater than 0 that is 2 is greater than 0 so is 2 odd no it is not odd so what we are going to be changing is x so x will now become 4 into 4 that is 16 so it will become 16 and n will be again right shifted by 1 so n is 2 which is 1 0 right shift by 1 which will become 0 1 so it has a value of 1 okay so this is 16 now and n has become 1 now now let us look at the next iteration right here so 1 is greater than 0 yes it is is 1 odd yes it is odd this time so we are going to be coming inside this if condition then result will be equal to what is this 16 into what is x x is 2 so it will become 32 now we are going to be making x is equal to 16 into 16 and n will become 1 and this will be 1 right shift 1 which will give us a 0 so after this what will happen is it has become 0 so we will come out of this while loop and inside the res we have here 32 you guys can see it we have 32 so it should work in this way now let me run this if it is working fine or not okay so similar example 2 and 5 so it is showing 32 so in the upcoming videos i'm gonna be talking about its application it is used in a few theorems as well and after that we are gonna be solving a few questions from sports and code forces thank you